Why does she want to lecture us? What does she have to say? If not, she's going to say trash. Okay, this is it. I am not going to say trash. I did not snatch anybody's husband. And that is it. Okay, number one is, I know a lot of people, a lot of people are dating married men. Hmm. You can't tell me no. You can't tell me I've never done it before. A lot of you are dating married men. And that, let me tell you now, this is it. This is it. Dating married men is not the issue. The issue is, are you in love with this married man? A lot of girls date married men. They, they date married men and still fall in love with married men. No, where do you want him to keep his wife? Where do you want him to keep his wife? If you're dating a married man, just know that the reason why this man is in your life hmm, is probably you just want to have, you know, something to do with you. Something to do with you. Or he just wants to help you grow. And why, why did I say help you grow? Because a lot of we ladies, hmm, we are just there for the bag. At the point where we are there for something. and all that the moment this man has starts spending for you the next thing you're not going to do is fall in love do you know something i, I tell people in this life eh? in this life men are cheaters Judy, so you can't stop it from them whether if you like let's suppose my husband is a lawyer man it's not working that way but your husband have another person is Knocking and that is fact. So don't don't act say to your husband. I believe in I believe you cannot do cannot do not tell this is a person don't get belly for your husband. Your eye will clear. But I'm not going to that part. The thing is that when you are dating a married man, some people their wife are not always in the country. Some people their wife are in this Nigeria with them. This Nigeria with them, their wife dating with them. And at the end of the day, you end up dating this man. Now, dating him is not my own problem. My problem is you now fall in love with this man and get this and get pregnant for this man. And at the end of everything that is painful, you not tell the man to divorce his wife. Or oh, I'm pregnant for you. And you must say, oh no, 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 no. Don't you must say no no no. Like one girl like that, she was asking me for an advice, telling me that eh. Hey, She's pregnant for a married man. What should I do? I said, first thing you did was you made a very big mistake by getting pregnant. He has a wife. It's like this wife has children. It's just as if he wants to scatter their home. And now, what are you telling this man? She says you don't demand that the man should rent an apartment for her and to come and take care of his responsibility. And the man said, no, no, you're not married. I said, that father, that man told you, that's it. He never loved you for marriage. He never loved you for marriage. He only wants to keep himself busy with you. And that is why you are in the picture. So don't be so stupid to go and now fall in love with a married man and now get pregnant for a married man. How not to snatch someone's husband? If you are dating a married man and you think the best thing to do is to fall in love and get pregnant, you think a lot of ladies now, the thing that baffles me the most is a lot of ladies now think they can use pregnancy to hold a man. Like, how? Who does that? Is it your dictionary? I've been mean, a God writer for Bible because me, I don't understand where that is done. If you think you're going to use pregnancy to hold a man, that was then. That was then. Now we know the work. If you think you can use pregnancy to hold the man, he will go and get married and give his wife pregnant just to have his own child. At the other. So for people that are dating a married man without sense, I'm giving you sense now. Let me tell you, don't say, eh, why can't she teach people not to smash somebody's husband? Or not, not to, why can't she teach people not to not for not for them not to date a married man. Let me tell you something. This generation we are, you know the work. How many people do you want to advise? Does not work. Does not work. 
As David is there right now, if David wants to go and do whatever I want to do with any woman, that's his business. That is his business. In as much as he's not rubbing it on my face, like you want to date a girl, you now bring her to this house. Uh -uh. It's not gonna work now. It's not gonna work. Like a lot of people are saying, but you intrude um in intrude somebody's home. I did not. I did not. I and David have met for a very long time. Like when Mary was saying, eh, hey, you were knocking now. Okay, fine. When we were knocking, were you there? The period we were knocking, does did he even know you? Some people say Joy is back to get what belongs to her. Joy is back to get her man. No, I am not fighting because of anybody because of the man. It's none of my business. David and I have known for a very long time. So there's nothing new about him again that is sweating or, you know, oh, I want to no, know. There's nothing new. My own is that, in as much as I'm not claiming, oh, I've date him before anybody or have met him before anybody or this 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 i am not doing all of that in as much as they got married to you in this house the same way they got married to me i traveled and that was how everything started which i'm not here to blame anybody i did not invade anybody's home do you understand i did not so back to our discussion if a man is married and he comes to you and said oh i like you i love you ask him he has to ask question are you married he say yes that's okay fine you are loving me you like me where is your wife i used to ask questions like that though that's some who think oh, this guy is rude this guy i'm not rude though now question i ask do you understand so that is me. If you are married, where are you not going? If you are loving me, how far your wife? Why would they love me with your wife? Some people say, oh, she's not in this country. And why you know if you wait for America? And they will say, uh-uh, oh, you know. Man. Even my wife said, no, sir, they not. Do you understand? It happens. It happens. In as much I'm, as I'm here, I came to lemon do you understand and we both met back again it, you know we both connect back to each other apart from him being married i have never dated a married man before i have never dated a married man before even if i want to say let me just say okay oh to him or oh, will not knock because i feel somehow won't and that is me that is me the fact that i came back here is because i came back there was nobody that is number one there was nobody the house was already crumbling the house was not a house anymore the marriage was not a marriage anymore this house was a living hell already. And I came, everyone was at peace. Then you see me cherishing this person because I've known him. So I know I know he's a loving person. You don't expect me to start reacting. He has always been a loving person. So you like that's when to come back and start like then start from where you stop by throwing this drink this blah 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 you don't explain my my backbone when i mean my backbone because when i don't have a boyfriend they don't have a girlfriend we're like very close we connected very quick and very smooth no that does not love you you do love you but sometimes a character of a woman can occupy the home and that is the fact character of a woman can never ever keep you in a home i don't know who needs to hear this but i'm telling the truth if you like even if you are finer than beyonce 
your character cannot keep you. What a man needs is peace of mind. To everybody out there that are married, hmm? and you nag too much, you nag too much, you nag, it's not going to help you keep your marriage. If you're nagging, there is somebody out there that is giving you peace of mind. I see sometimes it's not coming home. Sometimes any small thing just carries back and go. Because there is somebody out there that gives him peace of mind. If I'm doing bad, I know I'm doing bad. If I'm doing good, I know I'm doing good. I know myself. When a man finds peace here, trust me, I don't care the diamond you are giving him or the good. He will move out and go to where he's having his peace of mind. If you want to win a man's heart, no, they say a food is, um, I don't know what that thing said. A man's heart is food, that the food is me. I don't even understand how they say that thing. Not only that, though, if you like give him all the best food in the world, in as much as he's not having peace of mind, that food will choke him. Imagine you are serving him a food, a bowl of, um, let me say, a bowl of, um, um, or her or banga soup with starch, and this man saw the food and he was happy to sit down, wash his hands to eat this food. And at that moment, when he was about to eat, or when he's already eating, he brings out your wahala. Ah, is he gonna eat that food again? It's never gonna eat it again. But once you serve him, you are either gisting him, or you are playing one lovely movie for him, or anything. There is peace of mind. Some ladies don't know how to keep their home. I'm not even talking about Mary. I'm talking about most of us here in this comment section. Most of us here that are doing fans, fans, fans. All of us, we don't. Some of us don't know how to keep our home. Nobody to come here the time. Oh, no, no, sorry, keep on our home. Most of you, real women, hmm, has collected your man. Do you understand Women has collected your men. Why? Because you don't give him peace of mind. You think everything is all about nagging. You think everything is all about shouting. But trust me, it's not that. It's not that. If key to a man's heart is food, hmm, then what? Where are you keeping the peace of mind? A man can eat your food every day. Mm? And he does not have peace of mind. He's just looking for a way to japa. My japa, he will run and leave you alone. And there is nothing you will do. There is nothing you will do. There was one period the lady said I should interview her. <laughs> Before I, I did never interview her till date. If I had interviewed her, people could have seen it. She said I should. Um, is it interview? I should interview her. Then at the same time, prank her. Then invite her husband. Why? Because of her bad character. She did something that is bad. I told her, okay, what did you tell me your story? She did a lot of voice, but I was tired of listening. She said she has three kids. If you see this lady, she's not too tall. So she she never talk. Very short. Not too short, sure. But at least I'm taller than her. She had three kids. You will not know she had three kids. So. She started with, I got married to my husband and um, things are working fine. At the moment, he does not have money and I was tired of staying. But I endured Shao. I got pregnant for one, two, and the told him. In short, things became worse. I did not. I wasn't comfortable anymore in that house. All I wanted to do was look for my daily bread. When you are married. Okay, fine. And I, I'm talking where after, what daily bread? Where do you want to look for the daily bread? Because I want to know. She's gonna say clap. And from there she met a man. The master started giving her loads of money. Because nobody gonna say she won't. That's just the thing about her. Then she brought the money to the house, like she used to cool. Started feeling bad because it's always normal for men. The moment the women are bringing money, especially when he's an evil man, he does not like it. Not that he does not, if, he's, if she's working, like selling like something, and you know she's selling, it's good. And again, if she's working, working, 
where a responsible place to work should be known. Not that club is not responsible for you to work, but depending on why you are there, she, you will be happy. But at this point, he knew she was working in the club and he did not pay you salary. So how are you getting your money? He said, she said the, lady, the man sat her and asked, Babe, I know things are hard. I know you're looking for daily bread for us. But you did not pay the salary. How did you get your money? It's a very simple question for you to answer it simple. Hey, she said she started shouting at him. Why are you asking? To her now, she's right because she's explained to me. So she's telling me what she's really saying to this man. You that you are jobless. Blah, blah, blah. What do you expect me to do? I went to look for my daily bread. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want my kids to starve? Okay, fine. I am not shouting at you. Where do you get the money? She's there. She busts out and said, it's a man like you that gave me the money. If it's me, it worth me all. The man went. She said, the man, her husband cried and said, even if it was a man, you should not rub it on my face. You know I love you and I love the kids. I'm not just sitting. I look for jobs. And I pray they call me. I, I don't even want, I was going to say you should not work because I don't want you to work. This guy, he said that no, if you like for work, if you like don't look for work, it's none of my business. I, as long as I'm get, bringing money for my children, if you like, I could not eat it, you will on your stab on it. This man's, you know, this thing keep happening, keep happening, keep happening. Sometimes, she said, she, sometimes the, um, the man will drop her and her husband will sit and ask her question. She would tell her husband that, yeah, if you want me to pack, I will pack. So, obviously, you want to pack. I, I, I told her, obvious, after she said that, because I don't want her to lie on the stove beside, because after she said it, I told her, then the husband said, why will you pack? And you, where are you taking the children to? If you pack, where do uh, I will pack and I will get my own apartment. So, told, obviously, they planned the share and the man that, that comes to the back. And she said that was how she packed. The man rented an apartment for her, the man in the club, gave her money, everything, but how long? Her husband finally, after some months, he got a job and is now living. He had to pack away from that their house to another bigger place. Because his job, I think, is a contract job, she said. This man started living fine. Now, he has his money now, he needs his children. They were nowhere to be found. Do you know what happened next? Of course, but you know before I would know. He got a girl. A young, pretty girl. They started dating. From dating, she became the fiancé. From fiancé, they got married. From there, she's pregnant at the moment. After all your arrogancy and everything, you came back to that house. They told you your husband has packed out. You started looking for him. And at the end of the day, the place you saw your husband with the lady coming out from his gate, that's his house, you were shot. Now, what do you want? She said, I should now prank and tell her husband to come over so that when he sees his kids, his mind will reset. I said, let me tell you something. For me, not that I will know I can't do it, too, but I'm not going to do it. Do you know why? You are at fault in everything. This is your cross for you to carry. I have one sympathy. I feel for people. I make sure people don't go through stress. But I will tell you the truth. This man needed you. And do you know what men do? They need somebody when they, especially when they have nothing. You know that this man does not have vision. He has his vision that he wants to use to complete his mission. But you weren't there. To cheer him, cheer him up. There is a there's how you will cheer a man up. Eh? The man, eh, even if you cheer him up at the end of the day and say, you know, even if you want to leave, want to go and find something, you go and find something to do. When this man leaves, eh, there, and even if you are you run away from there, you find him because one you were there and you had nothing. So you will wait for part two. Because it's matter so if I'm talking, you see can come in, okay, so slow. And for those that want to cost me in the comment section. Go ahead and cost me. For those that want to do anything, go ahead and do it on that comment section because I know people want to smoke like my own. Mm, now what is it going on? So, so guys, um, in case you have any question, you want me to answer anything, on the comment section, I'll be reading everybody's comment section to know what and what you want me to talk about. Because me, you see this is my brain. If I start talking, most of you that have bad character in relationship, in marriage, in friendship, all of them are